Okay, let's see how fast we can get this thing apart. Oops, wrong way. Shifter thing. There's a little tab, lock tab here. You knock it back, but don't knock it all the way down flat. Just get enough so you can get a wrench on it. That way you won't break it and you can reuse it. It's a 12 millimeter. It's a shifter, a little sheet metal thing. I need a glove. Okay, this is a uh, one and a sixteenth, and I've cut out the end of this thing so that I can get around the wires on this plug. So you hold, don't hold the wire tight, hold it loose in your hand so you don't twist the wire up. And this one is a uh, 7 8 This is a 24 millimeter or 15 16 Have a magnet handy. Get the spring out and the plunger. Six millimeter Allen wrench. These are already loose because I had this transmission apart recently. So I usually have to heat around that with a torch, heat the aluminum up, aluminum up before you try knocking these loose because they're sometimes they're super tight. There is a pin down in there. There's a 3 16 Lock the pin all the way through until it falls out. I like to put a block under it to get her up in the air. And take all these bolts off. To get all the bolts off, you can knock it. That's the, called the extension housing. Now we're looking inside here, there's a clip. You can use this tool designed to get the clips out. Try not to expand it any more than you have to. I'm going to stretch it out. <clears throat> now on this side there's also an Allen plug that needs to come loose. And use your magnet. Pull that little thing out. And there's a ball bearing in there. Uh, 
I can take this off. Now this also has a lock washer. I'm going to knock the tab back. Just enough to get a wrench on it, get it loose. If you go too far, then it's going to break. It'll be no good for reuse. Yeah, heck with it. We're going to use the socket. Now this is free, right here is another one of those gadgets and there's also a ball bearing down there so you want to get that out of there too. There's a pin that's even further down in there but that'll fall out when we pull all this apart. That's your uh, four wheel drive thing. That's the gear. When you, the shaft will come out, and I'll take, you can see this, the detents are still on there. I'm just going to leave them there because it might make it easier for me to put it back together. Now, this oil pump right here, that's a 17 millimeter, but it's a re it's a reverse thread so when you go to take it off if you're going to use this make sure you change it over to reverse so it's on tighten mode or any other nut but since it's a reverse if you forget to do that it'll bust the thread right off of that thing remember it's a reverse thread okay everything's ready now we can take these bolts off Oops, forgot to reverse that thing. Long one. Long one. There's one inside. On top. It's a long one. Well, you can take that thing out of there. And then right here, there's a 12 millimeter inside here. Don't forget to get that one off. That one won't come off unless you've got the speedo off. The speedo's already off, so I can get at it. But the speedo is in there. It takes a 10 millimeter open end to get that speedo off. Looks like I got them all. Now it's stuck in a gear, so I have to push one of these over here. I'm going to get that dang thing out of there. Yeah, crap. 
Oh, well, it's the bottom one's well, got to come out. Okay, and then we get that thing out of there. And when you pull that free, there's a gear in here that's going to be floating, and it's got some needle bearings inside of it. And the needle bearings are in two pieces. I'll show them to you here in a second. Try to keep those from getting dirty. See the needle is on the end of the shaft. I usually like to take it off and slip it inside the, the gear so I won't get it lost or get it mixed up with something else. This thing comes off, it's a spacer of some sort. And make sure when you take it off, you take your magnet and get the little ball bearing too. It's a little about 3 16 diameter ball bearing. Okay, now there's a couple snap rings here. And I like to take them off using a needle nose plier. But they're going to go flying, so put something behind it to catch it. So you don't lose it. Just get the ends on each end of that thing. And this thing here is about the right size. And just kind of knock her free. Snap ring. And there's another one right in front of the speedo. Knock that off the same way. Now the speedo will slide off. That's what it looks like. And there is a ball bearing. It needs to be taken off. 3 sixteenths roughly diameter. Okay, now we got to get these dogs off of here. Dogs are held in with those that they call split rings. And it takes a 3 sixteenths punch. I actually had to sand it down a little bit. When you start knocking them down in there, I like to kind of support the shaft a little bit. I don't have to worry about the shaft getting bent. It's kind of hard to do it with only got so many fingers and hands to use here, but any kind of support underneath it at all is better than nothing. Okay, there's the one, this little split ring. You can take off. Second one. Just don't hit it super hard. Just kind of tap it until you can get it going and get your finger around it. The shaft, so you can support the shaft. I have had some bent shafts. I don't know if it was caused by uh, doing this or not, but I take a chance. Just give it a little support. Okay, there's a couple of C-clips. One here and one here on the top two shafts. They've got to be knocked off. It's the same thing. They're going to go flying, so... There's one. This one usually doesn't go flying. It'll go, if you hit it this direction, it'll hit something back there and stop it. And then you can reach in the back and twist it around and pull it out. See, that's what it looks like. Okay, now these three plugs have to come out.
I keep two bins over there to throw my stuff in. The stuff that's dirty, that external goes in one and the clean stuff from the inside goes in the other one. Same thing, take a little magnet, gotta pull the spring out, there's a ball bearing in there. Make sure you get all of them. Before I go any further, something I forgot to mention. <clears throat> After you pull this off, get the roll pin that you knocked out earlier, the first one of the first steps. And then somewhere in there there's a little pin, or it's sitting there, sometimes it'll drop down in there. It looks kind of like that. You don't want to lose that thing. Okay, now this is called the reverse pin. 19 millimeter. Just like that. And this has to come off. That's the uh, one and a sixteenth with the notch in it. For the wire, well, it was already loose, so that was an easy one. When you take it off, don't twist the wire when you're doing this. Just kind of let it free float in your hand. And now we got to get the there's a uh, snap ring right here on the bearing. What you want to do is tap this shaft down this end so it pushes that snap ring out a little bit and get yourself a little screwdriver push the two ends over where you can get at it and then use this little tool for prying the snap ring apart and then while you got it pried apart slip the screwdriver behind it and uh, Get it off of there. <laughs> Having a little trouble here. Here we go. Okay. I think everything's ready. We can take pull this cover off. I had to take a break there. My battery went dead. Get it charged up. Get this cover off. <laughs> this is the input shaft. It just pops out of there. <clears throat> Bearing feels good. Anyway, now we can get this off of here. And uh, sometimes it comes off pretty easy. I usually tap the shaft in and then start trying to separate. I want to save that gasket. I don't want to damage it. So I'm looking to see if it's if it's sticking to one side and not the other. So I don't want to tear it. So I'm going to take my little screwdriver and kind of slip it between the metal there to get it free so it doesn't tear. Hopefully I can do that. It's pretty stuck down there on the bottom. Let me take a break while I do this. Okay, we're back in business. There it comes. Usually it hangs it up as this bearing. You just keep tapping on that shaft. And there it is. Now everything is taken apart enough so that you can inspect all the gears and the synchros. I don't know how many minutes that took, maybe 
a little less than 20 minutes to get it totally apart. When you have it apart, this is a magnet on this uh, plug, drain plug. And if you look there, you'll usually see pieces of metal if any of the teeth have broken off. A little bit of uh, a little mound of really finely grained uh, metal is okay. But if there's big chunks, then you, you got to figure out where the broken parts are.